Hey guys, it's Kim Q, and this is, I can't say morning, but this is my message from the mountain today. Listen guys, it is not, it is not, it is not your paycheck that is piss poor, okay? It is your perspective. It's your perspective. Your perspective is piss poor. You have to change the way you think about things. You know what, yesterday was Labor Day, People started celebrating over the weekend and I'm talking to people and a lot of them I'm asking hey how was your Labor Day and they're like hey you know oh my gosh it was too short it was too short everybody's saying it was too well not everybody everybody who's working a job that they don't like which is a lot of people they say it was too short it was too short and guess what they probably did guess how they probably spent the last 24 48 72 hours they probably spent that time complaining about their job or complaining about something that their job has an indirect effect on guys let me tell you something if during your work hours during your work hours you got to work granted but if during your non-work hours you are not doing something to get out of that job that you hate shut up it is your perspective that is piss poor not your paycheck your paycheck while it may not be satisfactory to meet all of your needs if that is the case then it is your job your duty your responsibility not just to yourself but also to your family to do something about it if you are not doing something about it shut up shut up shut up there's no point and it has nothing to do with how much money you have see what most of us do is we'll say hey you know that sounds good yeah how much is that no matter what the price is you're still going to say ah, that's not in my budget you know why because most people are not living paycheck to paycheck anymore their paycheck paycheck to paycheck means that one paycheck lasts until the next one most people are spending their paycheck well before it comes I know because a lot of people contact me and they say, oh, I'll get some tea when I get paid in two weeks. In two weeks? Let me tell you something, and I'm not coming from a place of judgment, but if that is your situation, then fine. That's your situation. But if that is your situation and you are comfortable saying that, you say that with no, that just flows out of your mouth because you say it all the time. Oh, yeah, $20? Okay, I'll get some in two weeks. If you don't have $20 right now to invest in your health and you're over the age of 18, you are an adult. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not. You should be ashamed of yourself if you're comfortable saying that. See, things happen. Don't think just because I put good, funny, happy Facebook posts that I don't have things happen to me. Trust me, when you hear my story, it'll blow your doors off. But I don't tell my story because it really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I can't tell my son my story. It doesn't matter. I have to feed him. My husband and I have to pay for things for him. My story, what I'm going through right now, it doesn't matter. I got to figure out a way to get things done despite what I'm going through. So it does not, my perspective is always on where I need to go, not where I am. See, you can, you can rest in the mess or you can push through to success. And if you regularly tell people, I'll do X, Y, Z thing when I get paid next week in two weeks, next month. Oh, see, the way, the way my job is, I get paid once a month. So come the first of the month, that's when I'll get this thing that I need. If you are comfortable saying that, I feel so bad for you because that means you've gotten to a point where you don't even realize that your situation is as bad as it is. You're not even living paycheck to paycheck anymore. You're, you're spending a portion of your paycheck before your paycheck even comes and you still do nothing about it. It is your perspective. You've gotten comfortable in your discomfort. And you don't even aspire for things to change. You've just accepted that it is what it is. It's your perspective that's piss poor, not your paycheck. Because you will never be paid what you're worth. You will never be paid what you're worth. You will never be paid what you're worth. I used to say this all the time. Oh my gosh. They're not paying me what, what, what I'm worth. They're not supposed to pay you what you're worth. They're supposed to pay you what the job is worth. If you are a doctor and you um, are filing paperwork, a $12 an hour job, they're not going to say, oh, well, you know, you graduated Morehouse. So instead of $12 an hour, let me give you 
a hundred thousand dollars a year no it's never going to happen they pay you what the job is worth if you don't like your pay go get another job go enhance your skills so that you can either either have your own business or get another job but don't stay stuck in the mess and then complain about it and do absolutely nothing about it i'm i'm saying this and i'm i'm really 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 this is not one of those happy go jolly, you know, message from the mountains. I'm saying this because I am very greatly disturbed. I did a little happy message this morning. I put it on my YouTube and I put it on my Facebook and I was just saying, hey, you know, Labor Day is over. A lot of y'all paid a good money, good money. You got your credit cards out so that you could do your barbecues. You paid good money to get fat, to get fat. Yes, I said it. You pay good money to get fat these last few days, and you won't you won't invest in yourself for twenty dollars for a pack of tea. I'm not saying this because I want you to buy it from me. I don't care who you buy it from. Okay, so this is not like oh I need some sales. No, trust me, I'm good. But what I'm saying is, if you know somebody who has this thing and you've been wondering about it, and you say ah, but it's twenty dollars, you gotta check your perspective because, like I said in the video this morning, you'll go down to uh, you'll go to the club and spend twenty dollars on some drinks like it's nothing. You'll go to Chili's every Friday and treat your family to dinner, getting fat like it's nothing. When the bill comes, you pay it, you make a way for it to happen. Somebody tell you about some healthy products, you want to ask them what's in it. I gotta talk to my doctor. I'll wait till I get paid. Yeah, it probably worked for you, but it won't work for me. Keep it up with that mentality. Keep it up with that perspective that everything that is good is out there for someone else, but not for you. And that will, that, that's, see, you have the answers. You have the answers to all of your questions. It's in the question. Why me? Because you are who you are. Because you're negative. Because you embrace skepticism like it's some badge of honor. Or oh, I'm skeptical. You know what? When I was hanging out at the Ritz Carlton last year and I was hanging around wealthy people, it was one thing that I always noticed in their conversations. They did not have self-deprecating, they did not have self-defeating thoughts or language. They did not say things like, oh, that sounds too good to be true. They could be talking about multi-million dollar mergers and acquisitions and they would say, I'm interested, tell me more about that or explain that. They wouldn't just shoot something down because it sounded quote unquote too good to be true. That's why they have what they have because of their perspective. If they didn't understand something, they would, that's all I did. That's all I did was sit up there in Buckhead and eavesdrop on conversations like I was told to do by a man who has, who makes more in a month than most people make in a year. He said, just go there, be in the environment, listen to them, get that, just immerse yourself, get that stink, get that stench, get that wealthy aroma all over yourself, Kim. And I noticed their conversations. They never said things like, it seems too good to be true. Never once did I hear that, ever. But I hear that all the time in the streets. So you got to change your perspective. You'll be the first to say, I don't have time to do X, Y, Z thing. I just don't have the time. But then you post on Facebook about Empire, Barry Jane, shows that I've never seen before, but I, I know the name because y'all post. I just scroll right on past. You playing Facebook games. You listening to the radio. You watching TV, but you don't have the time. Man, let me tell you something. If you keep doing what you've always done, you deserve to get exactly what you're getting. And that's not me being mean. That is how life works. That is, it's the law of sowing and reaping. You reap what you sow. You don't sow a cotton picking thing, and guess what you're going to reap? Nada. Zitch. Zero. So, change your perspective. If you don't like how things are going, if you are tired of saying, um, I got to wait till I get paid to do this thing, or if you are tired of every single holiday being off of work and still being completely consumed by work, complaining about your employees, complaining about your boss, complaining about your paycheck, then shut up. <laughs> Change your perspective and start doing something different. Five, 10, 15 years, they're going to come anyway. The, the, the question is, will you be in the same space? Will you be talking about the same thing? Or will you have positioned yourself and your family in, in a better way at all? Change your perspective. Stop focusing on your paycheck because it is not your paycheck that is piss poor. It's that doggone perspective you got. So I'm going to get down this mountain so I can go get Eho. Um, that is my message from the mountain 
for today uh you know i took a break for labor day but i'm hitting it hard again you you'll see me if you guys want to know about what helped me to change my perspective it is a wonderful industry that you can find out more by visiting wait for what Dot com that is w e i g h t for what.com click on the business tab and you can see some of the people that i hang around that have totally 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 just brainwashed me because we need to be brainwashed we've been brainwashed by society now i'm being brainwashed by a whole nother group of people who are getting things done so if you want to see why i think the way i am I think things I think or I am the way I am now or I say the things I say then go to waitforwhat.com and click on the business tab you can find out a little bit more about my journey because it's not all about the physical it's not all about that before and after picture that you see it's so much deeper oh my god I wish you knew all right y'all peace out I'll see you later in the next video